Imam Ibn Qayyim al Jawziyah has said this that the soul now will travel and will be in different souls have different stations. If it's a bad soul, then its, its soul will go to Sijin, a place called Sijin, a lonely place where all these souls are being punished. Or it will stay in the grave, it depends on Allah. But it will not leave this world. It may stay even on this earth. Sometimes the soul is not maybe not being punished, but it's not a good soul. Allah will not leave, allow it to go above the, above the universe. That explains to us the theory of all these ghosts and other things. Now sometimes they say a person passed away and they saw the figure looking like him on the earth. It may explain that Allahu A'lam. But Imam Al-Khayyim al Josiah says some souls don't leave this earth. But if you're a good soul, the soul basically gets a station above. What happens here is Allah will put the soul into Illiyin. If you want to read about this, read Surah Mutafifin in the 83rd Surah of the Quran. Where the soul will go into, it depends, okay, how high it is. Either Allah will just put it into Illiyin. Now what happens in Illiyin? One hadith describes this. That in, when, the, when this all has happened in the grave, when all this has happened, then Allah allows the soul to be raised. And it goes to Aliyin. When it's coming to Aliyin, your family members, my family members, if we're good souls, they start to ask. Who, who? Now people start, start to ask in Aliyin, another soul, who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? And the name says, your so and so, the son of so and so. Your father, your grandfather, your great grandfather, whoever they are, your great grandmother, whoever they are, they will basically come to the front of the doors of Aliyin. They will open their arms to receive you, La ilaha. And you will come and they will grab hold of you. They will hug you. Only if we're good souls. And they will say, according to the hadith come from our Prophet mouth, they will say, how is so and so in the world? How is your son? How is, you? How is my other daughter? How is your, your sister? How is so and so? I left them. What is the latest news that's going on in the world? And they will embrace you, grace you, and bring you, to, you to, into Aliyin. Now that's a high station. But Imam Al-Qayyim al Josiah said, within Aliyin there are stages. You can be in a very high stage in Aliyin. Or you can be in the middle or you can be in a low stage. Depending on your state. And if you go to a very high stage in Aliyin, you've got a lot more room to move around. Allah may give you permission to go around the other heavens. Allah may give you permission to visit this world and go back. Especially the shaheed. In a sahih hadith of Muslim, the one who is a shaheed, Allah will put their soul into a green bird. And it's clear, Rasulullah said, that green bird will roam around the heavens, will go over Jannah, look at Jannah, fly over Jannah, will go and sit at one of the lanterns next to the arsh and the throne of Allah. That's the, that's the width Allah has given to the shaheed. And then Allah will ask it and say, Oh soul, is there anything more that I can give you? And the soul will say, Ya Allah, there's one thing I want. What? Oh Allah, the way I died for you. I want to go back, become alive. Make me come alive again. Send me back. And let me die the way I died. And then... Take my soul away. Because you know what it is? You know that moment when you were dying, that Shaheed was dying, and what he saw. You know that thrill inside. You know that the, the peace, the blessedness. You know the happiness, the joy was so much. The first instance when they saw the angels coming, taking, taking them. That is the most joyous time. And they want that back. So they say, Oh Allah, take me back. Let me go through the same death and then take me back. Let me go through the same death and take me back. Let me go through the same death. According to one narration, the soul will say to Allah ten times. Allah will say, I can give you anything, O soul, but I can't send you back to the earth. So this bird is basically roaming around over Jannah, in the heavens and so on. There's a station above this. Imam Ibn Qayyim al Jawziyah says, and this is all from Ahadith. He says that's the station of the Anbiya, station of the, of the Prophets. 
for, and he gives the dalil. The dalil is very clear. When Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam went to Miraj and he went to Masjid al-Aqsa, who did he see there? The prophets. These were not the prophets in the bodily form; they were prophets in the form of the souls. When a Sahih hadith of Muslim. Prophet Sallallahu was passing over the grave of Musa Alayhi Salaam and he saw Musa Alayhi Salaam praying in his grave. Same Sahih, another Sahih Hadith, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, come to Muslim, he was on the sixth heaven, he saw Musa Alayhi Salaam. Musa Alayhi Salaam was the one who told him that go back and ask your Lord to take these 50 Salahs down, 50 Salahs down until he became five Salahs. Yes or no? How did he see Musa Alayhi Salaam in his grave? He saw Musa alayhi salam in Masjid al-Aqsa and he saw Musa alayhi salam up in the sixth heaven in the same night. These are all, all Sahih narrations. How? This is the extent of the Anbiya. The Anbiya have got the greatest, greatest traveling that they can do. In fact, if they want to remain in the graves, they remain in the graves. If they want to go to some heaven, they can go to some heaven. If they want to go to the highest of abode, they can go to the highest of abode. This is the soul of the Anbiya. Now, according to the good actions, the soul has a connection with the body. The stronger, the, the, the better the good soul, the stronger the good soul, the more intact the body will remain. That is why Prophet ﷺ said, when the bodies of Anbiya, when the bodies of the Prophets are put in the graves, the graves do not deteriorate the bodies. Their bodies are absolutely intact. In fact, some shuhada, some people who are shaheed, so on, they have dug these graves and they have dug it and they have found, you know, like the person died hundreds of years back. And they dug it and they looked inside and they saw the person as if he was buried today. Not a single hair has been, has been removed from their body or deteriorated from their body, subhanAllah. And that is what? That is because of the good actions. But if it's a bad soul, then their body will deteriorate within the grave itself. The punishment that a person gets from Sijin, the ruh, the soul gets it, but the body also feels it. This is the, this is the aqidah of the Ahlul Sunnah wa Jama'ah. This is our belief. That the body feels it as well as the ruh feels it, but mainly it's given to the ruh and the soul. The same way when you get a good blessing in the next life, the body will feel the good blessing in the next, next life as well as the, the, the soul. But mainly to the soul this will all be given.